Hello, welcome to Nimbus. In the maritime shipping world, sometimes the sea tells stories of tragic losses and major disasters. The Felicities, a ship loaded with luxury cars, ended up in a massive fire, resulting in losses of hundreds of millions. Similarly, MV Golden Ray and Cougar Ace suffered unfortunate fates due to human error and equipment failures, causing environmental and financial damages. Let's explore the mysteries and lessons from the most severe and costliest Roro ship tragedies in the world. Hoeg, Osaka On January 3, 2015, the Maritime World witnessed one of the most remarkable car carrier ship accidents. Hoeg Osaka, a car carrier owned by the Norwegian company Hoeg Autoliners, was involved in a dramatic accident while sailing from the port of Southampton, England, to Bremerhaven, Germany. This incident occurred when Hoeg Osaka suddenly developed a severe list. This condition caused the ship's steering and propellers to be lifted out of the water, ultimately grounding the vessel on Bramble Bank near the Isle of Wight. This extreme list posed a significant risk to the ship's stability and cargo safety. The ship was carrying a cargo consisting of buses, construction equipment, and luxury cars such as Range Rovers and Rolls Royces, totaling around 1,400 vehicles. After intensive salvage efforts, Hoek Osaka was successfully rescued and towed back to Southampton, where its list was reduced to 5 degrees and the cargo could be unloaded. This incident highlighted the importance of stability management in car carrier ship operations. Although there were no casualties in this incident, financial losses and potential environmental damage were the primary concerns. MV Golden Ray MV Golden Ray, a South Korean flagged cargo ship operating since 2017 and designed to transport vehicles, experienced a tragic event on September 8, 2019. Departing from Brunswick, Georgia to Baltimore, Maryland, the ship carried approximately 4,200 vehicles, including Hyundai, Kia, Mercedes-Benz, and Land Rover. The ship suffered a steering system failure, causing it to capsize near St. Simon's Sound, Jekyll Island. Out of 24 crew members, 20 were quickly rescued, while the remaining four were trapped and had to be evacuated by cutting through the ship's hull. The National Transportation Safety Board NTSB, identified critical ballast management errors as the primary cause, with stability calculation mistakes made by the ship's senior officer using ballast software. Most vehicles inside the ship were severely damaged or destroyed, with fuel and chemicals leaking into the surrounding waters. The process of cleaning up and dismantling the ship began in November 2020, with the ship being cut into eight large sections for disposal. Cougar Ace The Cougar Ace, a Singaporean flagged ship with a capacity of approximately 5,000 vehicles, experienced an accident on July 23, 2006 during its journey from Nagoya, Japan to Vancouver, Canada. Carrying around 4,700 brand new Mazda vehicles, the ship encountered a ballast water transfer error near the Aleutian Islands, Alaska, causing it to list severely. Despite rescue efforts, the ship remained tilted and at risk of sinking. The U.S. Navy, Coast Guard, and other vessels successfully rescued the 23 crew members. After nearly a month, the ship was stabilized and towed to Dutch Harbor, Alaska for further inspection. Mazda decided not to sell the vehicles damaged due to the incident. The losses from this incident were estimated to be around $103 million, not including the cost of rescue operations. Felicity Ace In February 2022, the world witnessed a major loss with the sinking of the car carrier, Felicity Ace. Operated by Mitsui OSK Lines, 
the ship experienced a massive fire in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean on February 16th and eventually sank on March 1st near the Azores Islands. This incident garnered global attention as the ship was carrying thousands of luxury cars worth millions of dollars. Felicity Ace, weighing 60,000 tons, carried around 4,000 vehicles from renowned brands like Porsche, Audi, Volkswagen, Bentley, and Lamborghini. Among them were 1,100 Porsche cars and 189 Bentley vehicles. Financial losses due to this accident were estimated between $334 million to $401 million. All 22 crew members were safely evacuated, but the ship and its cargo couldn't be saved. This accident raised concerns about the potential environmental impact as the ship carried around 2,200 tons of fuel and oil, in addition to various other materials like metal components, plastic, electrical cables, and paint. The cause of the fire was strongly suspected to be related to lithium batteries used in electric vehicles, but there is no concrete evidence confirming this to date. The fire was successfully controlled by the salvage team from Smith Salvage, but the ship's large size made the towing effort to the Azores impractical. This tragedy occurred amid the global supply chain crisis faced by the automotive industry, including labor shortages due to the pandemic, semiconductor shortages, and other issues. With this significant loss, the global automotive industry faced additional challenges in meeting high market demand, especially in the United States, where the ship was supposed to dock. MV Baltic Ace On December 5, 2012, a shocking maritime tragedy occurred in the North Sea. The car carrier ship MV Baltic Ace collided with the container ship Horvus J. This incident, which took place 25 nautical miles off the coast of the Netherlands, became one of the deadliest and costliest Roro ship accidents in modern maritime history. MV Baltic Ace, operated by Euromarine Logistics, was en route from Zeebrugge, Belgium, to Katka, Finland. Tragically, the ship was carrying a cargo of 1,400 Mitsubishi cars destined for the Russian market. Within 15 minutes of the collision, Baltic Ace sank in shallow waters. Poor weather conditions at the time complicated search and rescue efforts. Out of 24 crew members on board MV Baltic Ace, 13 were rescued, while the rest became victims of this horrific incident. The wreckage of the ship lying on the seabed at a depth of only 35 meters posed a serious threat to other vessels passing through the area. As a result, in 2014, the Dutch company Royal Boscalis initiated the salvage operation of the ship's wreck. Using the same techniques applied to the MV Tricolor ship, Baltic Ace's wreckage was cut into eight pieces and transported to a Dutch port for disposal. This incident not only serves as a dark chapter due to the loss of human lives, but also because of the significant financial losses incurred. The loss of thousands of new Mitsubishi cars added to the material losses resulting from this accident. The MV Baltic Ace tragedy serves as a stark reminder of the importance of safety and careful navigation at sea, as well as the risks inherent in large-scale maritime transportation. Sincerity Ace At the end of 2018, the shipping world faced one of the most tragic incidents of the past decade, the car carrier ship Sincerity Ace, en route from Yokohama, Japan to Honolulu, experienced a massive fire on December 31st. The fire engulfed 3,500 Nissan vehicles being transported, resulting in significant material losses for the automotive industry. The fire occurred in the middle of the open Pacific Ocean, making rescue efforts extremely challenging. Poor weather conditions with strong winds and high waves added to the difficulties of the rescue operation. Out of 21 crew members, 16 were rescued, but unfortunately, 
Four were found unresponsive in the water, and one remained missing. More than four years after the incident, the Sincerity Ace tragedy is still remembered as a stark warning about the risks of transporting vehicles, especially electric vehicles, on car carrier ships. The cause of the fire has not been fully revealed yet, 